Hey, YouTube. Uh, this is the Everyday Prepper. Uh, thanks for joining me. I just want to talk about keys, things on your keychain in particular. Um, you know, there's different things. Like on mine, I have a, a whistle, a good quality whistle, a floating blade. Uh, I also have a little light here and a paracord fob for extra cordage and a little push dagger uh, for utility cutting. And then I also have a little, uh, basically like a little key keeper pocket clip uh, to hook uh, this whole thing because I have a lot of keys uh, on my pocket. Now, why would I need any of that? Why would I need a whistle? Uh, well, for signaling. Uh, maybe it's also to get attention uh, for signaling, uh, for rescue. Uh, maybe you just need to kind of, uh, uh, you know, get someone's attention across the way that they're going the wrong way or they're going into danger. So that's one thing. Another way you can use a whistle is to communicate more over longer distances with using a combination of chirps. Uh, so many chirps equals certain things. Now, in terms of a push dagger or a folding blade, any kind of folding uh, or types of uh, fixed blades that are really small for a keychain are fairly limited, uh, but they can be used for defensive use and or for just uh, smaller utility cutting, and they come in very handy. Um, and other, other types of means of, um, of using a blade also could be for just for minor surgery or minor first aid. And so it's always good to kind of keep them as clean as possible and as sharp as possible. Um, why would you have a paracord or a parachute cord key fob? Um, well, I, for me, I like to have a few extra feet of uh, paracord. And because as we know, I, and well, at least what I use is the type three, uh, military spec, and it has uh, seven internal strands in the sheath. So you got actually eight different elements. Um, and so that's, that's quite a bit. You can actually, uh, create a fishing line out of it or, um, you know, trip wires, you could do, uh, use them kind of a, for floss or for uh, makeshift uh, cordage uh, for repair of a tent or create a belt, uh, create shoelaces. I mean, it goes on and on. You can even as, use it as part of a suture uh, if you really had to. And so, um, so those are just some ideas of the things that I'm carrying. Um, and just to, just to kind of challenge yourself uh, to look at your key ring and see what you carry. And I think it's always really good, though, is the last element here is your uh, your little light. You know, to have a keychain light. It's something that I probably use the most out of my keychain ring. And uh, it's just a super handy thing. And these days you can get very small, uh, rechargeable uh, keychain lights. Uh, and they can, they can come fairly bright now. And so you don't just need to throw away like I have, or even though I could probably unscrew the container or the, or the capsule or whatever and put a new battery in there, it's just not even worth it usually. Because the lights itself are not that, just a few bucks. But they have rechargeable. And um, so you might want to take a look. There are so many companies now doing it. I couldn't just rattle off just a few. You, you have to just see what you have a preference for. But, uh, but having a light source and a cutting tool and a signal device and some cording, um, these are all very good. These are all excellent ideas. Now, some people go even further and they add even more things, maybe a multi-tool on their keychain. Uh, that's up to you. You have to just kind of customize things. And that's what I'm trying to get you to, you're, you're to start thinking, especially if you're very new to this. And this is what this channel really is uh, for beginners. Now, we'll get more advanced as, as time goes on, but it may take a few months to a few years before we get to the really more advanced stuff. Um, but in terms of what we're just doing now, we're covering foundations. And so... Um, you know, you just do the best you can every day to be the best prepper you can be.